Uh, I really like this piece. It, it's one of my favorite pieces because it ha has a lot of aspects that came together with the industrial show and um, the simplicity of the industrial pieces. But it also has that, that painterly quality because I started out as a painter and I just love that the, the big, huge brush strokes. Um, they're very bold, very bright. They're almost um, neon in a sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, I also like the uh, translucence, translucency of, of the uh, the paint. It, which, work, it works well with the aluminum, with the, yeah, the brushed aluminum. Yeah. Which I wasn't quite sure um, how it would work, but when I put the piece together, it's it, it just seemed like such a natural. And then when I put the, the horse hair and everything together with it, it just um, it seemed to really gel nicely together. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. I love the uh, name of that uh, piece too. This piece was very spontaneous. I collected uh, these two big ears. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them. But I knew they looked interesting enough to be part of the sculpture as far as uh, found objects, as far as being a, a found sculpture. Um, and it fits right into the industrial theme. Um, there's certain elements I like about it that are really rustic, raw. There's this little tag that I kept on it for just, I don't know if it's sort of um, spontaneity or authenticity, or but it just fits right into the piece. But the rusted metal with these really crude gears and, and these chrome stacks, I think, work really well together because it's a total juxtaposition of material where you've got this, this new sort of new age, brand new slick pieces yeah. that fit you know, totally together with uh, these um, pieces that are sort of brought out from the past. So it's, it's, a, it's a combination of uh, a lot of different things that work on different levels, but as a whole piece, I think it works as a sculpture. Pieces and say we're interviewed, mm -hmm. and you're talking about pieces, and then you get into a lot of uh, when you're, when you're talking about it, sometimes you, you miss some of the things that you're talking about. When you don't have it on camera, you're not uh, taping, say, um, uh, you know, a tape recorder or something. So the questions uh, you know, arise and the answers are... This? this the guy, a friend of mine's name is Paul, I forget his last name, mm -hmm. sorry. But, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, he designed it along with my help, and uh, we designed it for the opening for the exhibition of the uh, mm -hmm. Industrial Object Show. And I think it fits right into the, the compositions. <laughs> is the uh, juxtaposition of the material, I think, which, which is more interesting than, you know, like the, uh, so the, got comp than the compositions or, or the associations maybe with, um, like, the Canadian flag. I didn't even realize that that was a spontaneous thing that, that, that happened when I put the piece together. People were telling me afterwards, well, that looks associated to the Canadian flag, which it really wasn't. Um, I wanted to use, uh, use it as a piece, um, the red uh, tapestry um, comes into the title, which the title is uh, Burning Buffalo Grass, which is a, a ceremony held in the spring by the Blackfoot. So that's why we have a lot of red on that piece. And then in the middle is the blue felt. And then we did the exact opposite on this piece here, the uh, Blue Moon Night Watch. So they're opposing pieces, they're almost exactly the same, but the colors and everything's reversed. Mm -hmm. But I like the juxtaposition of material, which I think works really well. I think that there's um, generally in the last few exhibitions there's three elements that I see that seem to be reoccurring in all my exhibitions, which is simulated blood, lots of horse hair, mm -hmm. and plenty of chrome. I think those are like three things that I really enjoy a lot about putting art pieces together. So that brings the ancient and the modern together and 
Yeah, very Ooh, much interesting, so. right? Interesting, it's, right? Yeah. It's uh, it's a total. Uh, I like that juxtaposition of, of material, but also the concepts behind that are uh, very ancient and very new. You know, present. So it's it's a combination of all those three elements. <laughs> It says, I love you. Meet me at the gallery on the 20th and you'll see who I am. So I'm anxious to see who it is. Huh? <laughs> and then there's another one. Dear Kevin, your art makes me love you. <laughs> you secret admirer. <laughs> She figures all this has to do with my broken heart, which probably does. <laughs> Hello, you all. Hope you enjoyed the show. Come back. It's up till Sunday. Okay, can I get it up?